Nothing doing here, anyone? <laughs> Everyone? Oh. Look at this little one, eh? A dango. There's been a baby boom at the Australian Reptile Park and the new arrivals have come in to say good day in time for the school holidays for us. And for more on this, we're joined by zookeepers Dan and Hugh. And nice to see you guys and all these little cute little creatures. Who have we got here, Carl? Thanks Wright. for having us in, guys. Now, you've got two of our beautiful dingo puppies. So we've got uh, Rocky and Lucky. Oh, so, Rocky. Carl, you've got the rock star and uh, Ali, you've got our beautiful oh. little Lucky girl. My first dog's name was Rocky. Oh, that's Mine nice. was that's Lucky. Nice. Was it? Really? Yeah. Get out of Whoa. town. Wow, that is a coincidence and a half. Full on proper 100% true like story. It. That's weird. How often are they born in captivity? So once a year. So dingoes yeah. will breed once a year, unlike other dogs, like normal dogs that'll breed a couple of times a year potentially. Dingoes just once. Yeah, so right. these dingoes are about six weeks old. So it won't be long before they, they just grow so quick when they're, when, they're, when they're really young. They're just these little round balls and then all of a sudden they just turn into a dingo. So, so there's, a bit, the of, there's a bit of... Um, no oh, maybe just keep him with you, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise right. he's going to chase people that's around. A big and... no, Carl. <laughs> that's all right. Um, so there's a bit of love in the air at the zoo, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mainly with the animals, but yeah, um, <laughs> typically. Uh, How yeah, are you two getting on? <laughs> we, we actually get on really well. We yeah. spend a lot of time away together, actually. Yeah, there you a go. lot of people joke about us, too. <laughs> it's only natural. It's only natural. <laughs> uh, but we've got baby dingoes, and of course, we've got some couple little squirrel gliders here. And uh, this is one of last oh, no, year's yeah. koala joeys. But right now, we have koala joeys starting to appear from mum's pouch, which you can see at the park, which is really cool. So, a delicate time of the year in the wild, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. A lot of babies around, and yeah, obviously it's great to be able to get up this close to them. So obviously you guys look very comfortable with dingoes, which is yeah. good, for, good for you. Yeah. Oh, look at this. There's look a few. I mean, there's a few places. I think me. Fraser Island, that, that, where you've got dingoes around um, in the wild. Um, it is important to keep your distance from them, isn't it? And not to feed them and all that kind of stuff as people go camping and all yeah. that kind of thing. They're so. very much malign species and particularly on places like Fraser Island, you see people feeding them yeah. from the back of their car and stuff yeah. like that, letting their kids get too close. The best thing to do with dingoes is just Oof. respect them and give them their space and keep a nice safe distance from them always. They're, they play a really important role in our ecosystem and they've been here for 6,000 years. We need to make sure we look after them. What does it say about Carl and I that, um, that Rocky's biting him and, and mine's just giving my little finger a lick. <laughs> well, he's about to eat that paper there. No, Carl, you don't so. need yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you even run off a script? <laughs> like, no. Uh, no but no, uh, Lucky generally, because she's a girl, she's a little bit more timid, and Rocky <laughs> is full of beans 24 <laughs> 7. There you go, that's, that's right. perfect. Carl doesn't read his scripts anyway. No. Who what? have you got there with you, Dan? Uh, I've got one of our beautiful little koalas, Pip Squeak. So, yeah, we have lots of koalas at the park, and obviously, for people that want to come out and see mm. koalas, best place to do it is at the Reptile Park. So, And of course, you might even maybe get up close to one of our squirrel gliders too, which yeah. Hewan's holding, so they're a pretty unique little marsupial <laughs> species. Are they cute? Rocky, you're a troublemaker. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And now I understand why Absolute you gave him to come. Get it, get it. Rocky! Get it. Get lost. Bring get it, get Rocky. Get I'll, I'll stick lucky onto you. How are, how are koalas going in the wild after the bushfires? And... Well, we all know not good. They're our most iconic animal. Everyone knows that. And unfortunately, there's not that many koalas left. There's probably forty to 80,000 koalas left in the wild. So it really is important that we do protect them. I think if the koala goes extinct, it will be a real shame. And it's up to us to protect them. From... Well said. Yeah, well definitely. Said. What else have you got happening school holidays? Lots. Baby animal shows right. a big one. That's yeah. at 1.15 every day. So you can come and visit all these baby animals. Plus, they're all the normal stuff. Komodo walk. Uh, saltwater crocodile feeding, all the fun stuff. And, yeah, I can't wait. School holidays are the best time and hopefully we'll have lots of big bumper crowds during the whole winter holiday um, period. Whereabouts is the Reptile Park for those coming in from Sydney? Easy, an hour north of Sydney. So a nice, oh. easy drive. Uh, you stop up there, stay for the weekend. <laughs> Drop up to Terrigal. Yeah, come up to the Reptile Park. Terrigal's a great place. Good Lucky you just gave me a little love bite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that you're bleeding from? <laughs> Explain that to us later. Yeah, was, uh, <laughs> what happened to work today? <laughs> oh, no, great but, stuff, but it's a great place. I mean, Dan, I brought the kids up a bunch of times. It's unreal. So if you've got a family... Get up there for sure. Yep, thereptilepark.com.au and grab your tickets on there. Good on you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Anytime, guys. Thank you.